Hi, my name is Andrew with Razorback Off-Road and today we're doing an install video on an Expedition Rack for a 24 Razor XP. And to get started, I'll go over some of the components that you'll need and that you'll receive and we'll just jump right into it. So as you can see, we have a lot of components laid out on the table and this is about only half of it, but I'll go through kind of the steps that you'll, you'll be going through during the install. So we're going to be starting with the mounting brackets. Then you'll start with the sides, and we'll have to also install a basket tray and a tailgate. But um, I'll just kind of go through the tools that you'll need and the hardware. There is quite a bit of hardware, and I'll try to go through each, each piece during each step. So some of the tools that you'll need, you'll need, I'm just for video purposes using an impact. You can use a hand ratchet if you wanted to, but just for speed purposes, I'm going to be using an, an impact. Um, you'll need a breaker bar. And the sockets that you'll need, you'll need a uh, 3 8 a 7 16 and a 15 millimeter. You'll need um, some Allen tools. You'll need a 3 16 and a quarter inch. And then I'm using the box wrenches and you'll need a half inch, a 7 16 and a 3 8 And that's ba the basic hand tools that you'll need. You can use other tools that you have handy, but these are kind of the basic tools that you'll need. So I'll jump right into it. Um, on the step number one, we're going to install um, the brackets onto the, uh, the roll cage. And so if you notice the brackets, there's some with two notches and they're right here on the inside. So we have some with two notches and we have some with one notch. So you're going to start with the one notch. This is for the roll cage bars themselves. So You'll start with the single notch and then you'll grab a long, we call these spacer brackets. So these are spacers, so that way you'll install them the same on each side. So we have a long one and then we have a shorter one. So you want to grab each of these and you want to grab the 15 millimeter and we include, so they're these uh, large aluminum spacers. And this is the spacers that will go underneath the brackets. So I'll go ahead and grab that and move over to the machine. So I'm just going to set this stuff in the tub. So you'll grab the breaker bar in the 15 millimeter and you're going to pop loose the, the top bolt here. And you're, going to, and you're going to also loosen the bottom bolt here. These are the bolts that we're going to be tying into. So use a breaker bar and break loose those bolts. Okay, so now that we got those loose, I'll back them the rest of the way out with the impact. Um, just be mindful, there's a, there's a recessed nut inside of the roll cage here. And so just have your hand underneath to make sure that it doesn't fall down. And I'll just back this all the rest of the way off. Okay. And with my hand holding that in place, I'll pull out the, the roll cage bolt. Okay. And I'll put two of those washers in place. And you're going to take the longer spacer bracket and you're going to put it right on top of that. Okay. And you're going to just feed it through all of those. And then go ahead and get that started. Okay, and you can go ahead and, and tighten it down a little bit just because, don't tighten it down all the way, but just at least get it to where it's kind of snug, but you can still move the bracket back and forth. So, so I can still move the bracket back and forth, okay? And then you're gonna do the same thing to the top. So now for the upper one, um, I failed to mention in the beginning, um, we provide an M10 bolt that you're going to be replacing um, on the top. This one you can use a stock one, but we'll provide you the one that you need to replace on the top. So grab the smaller bracket, the two spacers, and the bolt that we provided. Okay, we're going to just take this all the way out. Okay, so just be careful because this hardware will fall out. So keep the, uh, the nut that was provided, okay, and grab your spacers, 
put your spacers up there and then grab the bolt and kind of feed it through all of that. Okay, you go ahead and start the nut there and then tighten it down, but don't just kind of get it snug. Don't get it all the way tight yet. Okay, so you can still kind of move it back and forth freely. Okay, and so now we'll go into the next phase. So just take your 15 millimeter and just kind of put it off to the side for now. Um, you're gonna grab the brackets with the single notch. You're gonna grab two of those. You're gonna grab, so these are spacer brackets. So essentially these will be bolted to the bottom like this and this goes around the tube. And this is what you're gonna be installing next. You're gonna need two of the spacer brackets. You're gonna need two of the single notch brackets. You're gonna have eight pieces of quarter inch hardware. Um, these flange bolts that we provided and also the nylock nuts that go along with it. So you'll need eight of those and you'll need a three, three eighths box wrench and a seven sixteen socket. So this is kind of all that you'll need for the next step. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so just, I'm just putting everything into the tub here. All right, so with these spacer brackets, you'll notice there's a little notch that's cut out here. This was engineered for a purpose. And these notch, notches will space it and they'll slide right over this bracket right here. And that's how it spaces itself onto the roll cage. So you'll put one of these here and then you can also put another one up here. It's got that not same notch and this slot and it'll literally fall right there. And then that's how it's gonna space these brackets for your side install, all right? And so the next step will be grabbing this bracket and this bracket will mount underneath, okay? And you're gonna take the quarter inch hardware and you're going to, I'll start with kind of getting one, one going. Okay, and I just kind of do that all the way around. Okay, just kind of get your hardware started. All right, and you're gonna just put hardware in all of the holes and you're gonna do the, the same thing into the top. So now that you kind of have your hardware started on the top and the bottom bracket, we're gonna now kind of set these spacers. So what you're gonna to wanna to try to look for is you're gonna to wanna to just try to align those spacers as straight as possible down the center of the tube. So you're gonna space them and move them kind of into place and just make sure that this, these brackets are pointed straight towards each other as best as you can. So you might need to make some slight adjustments. So that 15 millimeter that we had before, okay. You're gonna grab this, and now you're gonna actually tighten these down all the way, okay. Make sure you tighten them down as best as you can. And when you do tighten this, refer to your service manual for torque specs and go ahead and torque down these bolts as well according to manufacturer specs. So make sure that it's aligned, torque the bolt, both top and bottom, and then we'll go into tightening the brackets in the next step here. So once you have those tightened down, you're gonna grab your 7 sixteenths socket and you're gonna grab your 3 8 and we're gonna go ahead and start tightening down these bolts. So you wanna tighten them down evenly because if you tighten them down all on one side, it's gonna actually pull that bracket to one side. So you wanna kinda just go through, take your time, and tighten the bolts evenly all at the same time so that way it doesn't move your bracket too much. 
And if it does pull to one side, you might need to loosen it and kind of reposition it, but just go through and start tightening these bolts down. Just kind of just go evenly, take your time with it. And just keep your eye on it and just make sure that it doesn't move too much on you. All right, so you're gonna do that for the bottom and then you're gonna do it for the top and then I'll go into the next step. So once you have this all tightened down, um, I guess I'll just kind of talk about a little bit of a strategy when you are tightening. So like I said, first I mentioned kind of evenly tightening it, but also just pay attention to the bracket and this notch and just make sure that notch is evenly being tightened with the bracket so they're, they're both at the same level. Because if you do tighten it to one side or the other, then when we lay the tube that is on the side in here, it won't lay in there nice and even. even. Um, so that was, I just wanted to kind of give you a little tip there is just to pay attention to this bracket and the notch and just make sure that it, they're both level and that the spacer brackets are in line with each other. And I mean, you can look down and just make sure that they're, they're pretty well aligned and then you should be good to go. All right, so the next step that I'm going to do is we're gonna actually install the side. So just a word of caution, um, I would highly suggest you have a buddy or a friend that can help you kind of hold it into place while you install the top brackets, just because it is a little bit kind of awkward for a single person. Um, and also probably what I'm gonna actually do is lay a towel on the plastic as well, just to, so you don't scratch your machine up or the rack. And um, I'll kind of go through that in the next step. So you're gonna grab the side. So how do you tell the difference between the sides um, if you stand up the side, this is how the side will go. So this is the passenger side, and that's what we're gonna be installing in the first step. And then the driver's side will have this, I mean, this is the tube that you'll be actually mounting those brackets on is this, okay? So this is the passenger side and the driver's side. So you're gonna grab two of the brackets here, the ones with the two notches. You're gonna grab eight of the quarter inch uh, flange bolts and also the eight nylocks and you're going to need a 3 8 socket and a 7 16 box wrench. So grab the side and let me just kind of explain kind of how this mounts. So to know that you have the passenger side, it has these unique tailgate brackets that are right here. It's not the same as the other side. So that's what you got to look for for the passenger side. And these brackets, what it's gonna do is it's gonna mount onto this tubing right here. And it's actually, so this bracket will actually rest on the top one. So it's gonna rest right up against there. And that's how you know that it's installed correctly is that it's all the way up against that bracket. So that's how it's gonna sit. And then the other one will just kind of float in here and be attached to the bottom. So this will go on just like that, and that's kind of what I mean. I would highly recommend you have a friend that can help hold it. As you can see, it's just kind of laying there, and, and you want to start with the top bracket. So I just kind of get two bolts started, and then I can actually just install it. And then it's kind of, like I said, there's a method to the madness, but I highly suggest you have a friend to help you with this, okay? and I'm gonna kind of pull down, get some pressure so these bolts actually kind of lock into place and you can kind of get them started that way. Okay, and then I can just kind of gently rest it. That's why we put those towels there. And at least get these top two started because once those are started, you should be okay then to install the rest of the, the bolts and the brackets. And the hardware. All 
All right, so I've just started, started the bolts. I got all four in the top. Now let's do the bottom side and it's just gonna lay on there. This should be a lot easier now that the top one's kind of started. So once you have all the hardware started, you're gonna grab the 7 16 box wrench and that 3 8 socket. And you start with the top bracket. Um, I have a step ladder here. It's probably gonna really help if you have a step ladder at least to kind of get up and over the top here. But you can kind of see that the side can still move up and down. You just wanna make sure that that bracket's resting against the top bracket, sorry, the bracket on the side is resting on the bracket here. You can see that it can't go down anymore. And go ahead and start tightening those bolts. So I'm just starting it. You can see that I can still move the side back and forth. So that's what you want. You want to still be able to have a side move back and forth because we're going to put the other side on and the tray and then we'll align it. So go ahead and tighten these ones as well. well like once again, we're not tightening down all the way. You can see I could still move the side, okay? So we're just getting them started, that way it'll be easier during the tightening process. So now that we have the side kind of fully ready, um, we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna do the same process for the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that and then we'll come back to installing the tray after that. So just like the previous step, now that we have these brackets installed and tightened down and nicely aligned, um, we're going to go ahead and put on the side.
So now that you have the, both sides installed, okay, and making sure that they're still loose so we can make an adjustment later, um, we're gonna go ahead and move into phase two. So phase two will involve the basket tray and the tailgate. Um, let me just explain on the basket tray. If your basket tray does not come with the ball stud installed, you will have one, but typically you'll install the ball stud, which is for the gas shock right here on the passenger side. So if the logo is facing up, you're gonna have it on to the right side, okay? So let me move into the hardware and the tools now. So for the hardware, you're gonna need the quarter inch bolts and the uh, nylocks, and you're gonna need a 7 16 box wrench, and you're gonna need a 3-8 socket. And so we'll, I'll go right into installing the basket now. So you're gonna grab the basket, so you're gonna take the tray, and you're just gonna kinda place it on top of the rack, gently, like so. And you can see that there's these tabs here in the front, and so those will actually come up to meet the basket tray. All right, so I'm gonna grab my three bolts and just kind of get them started for each side. So I start with one side. So there's one that is kind of over the top here. So you'll need to get that started like so. So there's that one. There's the one that's right here in the front. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in there and get it started. And if you can't reach, uh, you could use a step ladder for this step. I'd highly suggest that, All right? Then there's one more in the back here. So this is going to go through the back here. So now that I've got these three bolts on this side, you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. That, now that you have your bolts started, um, we're gonna go ahead and set the sides now. Um, you will need a stool, because you kind of need to get up on top and look down, but there's two bolts that are right he underneath here, right in front, and those we're gonna tighten first to kind of set the angle of the sides, and you're gonna want to actually tighten them right in the center of the slot on the basket tray. So when you put them in the center, that should set the sides to where they're straight, but you may, you know, as you're tightening it down, you may need to loosen and kind of tweak it. Because what you want is you want the sides here to be straight up and straight down, okay? So we're just gonna set them in the center of the slot, and then you may have to tweak it. You might need to take a step back and kind of look and just, that's, that's, this is the point where you're gonna be aligning your sides. So it's kind of an important step for the rest of the install too be completed. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna tighten these down in the center. So I'm gonna grab my stool. And I'm gonna kinda of come up to the top here. And I'm gonna grab my 3 8 and my 7 16 socket. And then I'm gonna tighten these down to kinda of get them into place, get them started. So what I'm actually doing is I'm kind of using my body to kind of push the side kind of where I want it. But just make sure that the basket tray is also up against that front kind of uh, bracket that's bent into the side here. So make sure that it's up against that bracket before you tighten it down and then in the center of the slot, right? So all the way up, center in the slot, and now I'll set you up for success on the next part. So once you kind of have those set, like I said, you're gonna start in the center of the slot, but it'll be a good idea to take a step back and just make sure that um, the, the side of the rack here is straight up and straight down. So then you may need to kind of loosen it 
and slowly bump it out until these are straight up and straight down. And then once you have that set, then you're gonna go ahead and tighten up the rest of the bolts right where they're at. And then you should be good to go for the, for the tailgate install. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of make my little adjustments, tighten up the bolts, and then we'll move on to the tailgate. So now that the sides are set and all of the bolts are tightened on the tray and you're happy with how everything's setting, let's not forget that we need to tighten these brackets down because that's now going to set, set the sides into place. So go ahead and tighten down all four of these brackets completely. You're going to need the 3 8 socket and the 7 16 box wrench and go ahead and tighten this. So once you've gone through, got everything snugged down, you're happy, the rack's happy, everyone's happy, we're gonna move on to the tailgate brackets and so you're gonna mount them on the passenger side and I'll go over the, the brackets that you'll need and then the hardware as well. We have these U-shaped brackets and these are gonna be installed onto the passenger side. So you'll need two of the two that we've provided you you're gonna have eight of the 5 16 um, socket cap screws. You're gonna have eight of the nylocks. You're gonna have a half inch box wrench and a quarter inch Allen. You're gonna take one of the brackets and I'm gonna grab two to just get it started. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you put it right on the bottom. Don't put it on the top. So there's weld up here and there's no weld underneath. So don't put it on the top. Make sure you put it on the bottom. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and kind of get Two of them started, like that, just to get it started. Okay, I'm gonna start with two and then go ahead and put the other ones in as well. So just go ahead and just do all four now. So now that you got the bottom one, do the same to the top. I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. And so I'm just gonna tighten them down just a little bit, not all the way, just to kind of break past the nylock part. But you wanna still be able to move it side to side. So you wanna still be able to move it side to side for adjustment. So just kinda get them somewhat started. So once you kind of have the bolt started and you can still move the brackets back and forth for adjustment, we're going to install the tailgate receiver bracket on this side. So I'll go ahead and talk about the hardware and the tools you'll need for that. So you're going to use this bracket. This is the tailgate receiver bracket. And then you're going to need two quarter inch bolts and the two nylocks. And then as for tools, you're gonna to use a 3 8 socket and you're gonna use the 7 16 box wrench. For this bracket, you're gonna see that it's kind of got these two bends here. You're gonna to wanna to face that outside and this rubber bumper is gonna actually go right inside of this slot just like that. So you want it facing that way. And you're gonna take your quarter inch hardware and put it in the top. And then you're gonna put the other one in the bottom. Okay. And kind of the same, same 
method. I'm just trying to get it somewhat started, but we still want to keep it somewhat loose so you can, because this has adjustability in as well. But we just want the bolts to be kind of close to tight, but not tightened down all the way, just so when we do the tailgate, it's a little bit easier. Once we have that in place, and like, like I said, make sure it's still loose. Now we'll go into the final phase, which is going to be the tailgate. So I'll come over here and I'll kind of explain a couple of things and then I'll go into the hardware and the tools that you'll need to install the tailgate. So before we take it over there, in your hardware package, you'll receive this T-pin handle and this is to lock it, lock the tailgate onto the latch. But before you install it, make sure you use thread locker, blue thread locker, and just put kind of a generous amount kind of on, on the threads, and then go ahead and tighten that on there all the way. You want some thread locker on there because you're gonna be going down trails and kind of going out on your adventures, and there's gonna be a lot of vibration and a lot of cyclic loading onto this machine, so you don't want it vibrating loose and then you lose your T-pin. So go ahead and put, tighten that down all the way. And then also, if the tailgate doesn't have the ball stud installed on the top bracket here, this has three holes in there and you can adjust it. Um, pretty much the standard position is all the way at the end here. So you wanna make sure that it's facing up and not down for it to fit right. So that's kind of a little bit about the tailgate. So now I'll move over into the hardware. You'll need these two shoulder bolts. You'll need these four AN washers. You'll need these nylocks, and this is the 5 16 nylock. You'll need this 3 16 Allen, and then you'll need the half inch box wrench. Okay, I'm gonna grab one of the shoulder bolts, and you're gonna need two of those washers, and then you're gonna need that, that nylock. So kind of a trick that I do is I'll actually, since we installed this T-pin handle here, I'll actually go ahead and put it in here. So I'll put it in there. So it's kind of holding it up on this end. Okay, and then now you can kind of work on the other end here. So the sequence that it goes is that you're gonna want to put an AN washer in between kind of the bracket that's already installed on the tailgate right here. You're gonna to wanna to have one of the AN washers on top and then bottom, and then the two hinge brackets on the tailgate will go over the top of both of those. So we'll get a close up here of kind of what I'm talking about, but you're gonna have those both of those washers in. So with that 3 16 Allen, go ahead and tighten these all the way down. Okay, make sure both of these are tight. Okay, so now the next step, we're gonna set the tailgate. Okay, what does set the tailgate mean? So this can move up and down because we haven't tightened these back, these back brackets yet. And so if you have a spare tire, you're obviously gonna to wanna to really cheat this up a lot higher so that the weight of the tire will bring it down into the center of the, um, the receiving bracket. So you're gonna to wanna to have, you're gonna to have to kinda of figure out where that's gonna be. You're gonna to have to put, if you have a spare tire, you're gonna put it on here, you're gonna probably have to cheat it up rather high so that the weight will let it settle where it needs to be. So I like to kinda of cheat it up a little bit higher and you're gonna to have to grab you're gonna have to grab that quarter inch Allen and the half inch, and you're gonna have to start tightening, tightening these bolts in the back. So once you're done tightening up your hinge brackets and you're happy with where your tailgate is at, you're gonna go ahead and grab, you can grab the 3 8 box wrench and the 7 16 box wrench because we don't have too much more to tighten, 
but we're going to now tighten this uh, tailgate receiver bracket. So go ahead and close the gate and actually lock it or engage it. Okay. And this will kind of set where that hinge plate needs to be, or excuse me, the receiver plate needs to be. You're just going to go ahead and tighten down those bolts all the way. So once you have that tightened down, just make sure that it functions right. You should be able to just close it and it engages really nice. You can unhook it. So just double check and make sure that everything is installed there. So the last step that we're gonna do is we're gonna install the gas bracket. So the gas bracket, this has some safety pins in there. So you actually need to twist them off and make sure you don't lose these safety pins. So you're gonna take both of the safety pins out and then you're gonna install kind of the larger end on the inside and then the skinnier end on the tailgate itself. So you'll install the larger, the larger end on this and wait till it clicks, put the safety pin in. Okay, make sure that's good. This one you might need to Kind of use your hand and just kind of push it in a little bit and then that'll pop in and then don't forget your safety pin so once you're done installing your gas shock just go ahead and double check to make sure that everything is closing properly and that it opens okay so just make sure that everything is operating properly. And it's always a good idea to go back through everything, just make sure all the hardware's tightened down because you just don't want anything coming loose while you're out on the trail. Um, but other than that, that's, that's gonna conclude the video and um, we really appreciate you watching. Um, if you have any questions about machine fitment, this rack will fit both the two seat and the four seat models for the Razer XPs. And um, on our website, we'll have a machine fitment chart on there that you can check out. And also, if you haven't checked out any of our other social media platforms, um, Facebook, etc., we're always coming out with new products, also information, promotions. So please check, check out all of our platforms. And other than that, um, I hope you enjoy our products, and we'll see you out on the trail.